coronavirus. The situation is serious and it deserves vigilant attention. But the constant flow of information about this global pandemic, whether from public health experts, other experts, or even on social media, can take a toll on your mental health. We're not just talking about an outbreak of COVID-19. What we're also seeing is an increase in the anxiety that people are experiencing. This is a repeat, essentially a repeated trauma. This is gonna go on for a while, and so people are gonna adjust their behavior. So here are five things you can do to take care of your mental health during a challenging and difficult time like this. Number one, avoid information overload. Slim down on how much daily information about this virus you consume. Make sure that you find a few trusted sources, like the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and local sources, and stick to those. You can limit how often you check them for updates by, for example, disabling notifications on your phone. Also, practice social media self-discipline. And if you want a break from the constant updates on your phone, consider uninstalling social media apps. That way, you won't be tempted to go back and start scrolling. Number two, name your fears and prepare. Name your specific fears. What are they? For example, are you worried that you might catch the virus? Consider how realistic those fears are. Try not to overestimate the likelihood that your fears will happen and don't underestimate your ability to deal with them. If your fears are more practical, think about a plan. Consider your options. Being prepared for your fears will help keep them in scale. Number three, think outside of yourself. Actions can counter anxiety. You may want to consider helping someone else who's perhaps more affected by this outbreak than you are. Your good deeds will not only help make someone else's day, but it will make you feel better as well. Studies show that volunteering can minimize stress and improve depression. Number four, seek support wisely. Seek support, but avoid talking to people who are as worried as you are. That may just leave you in an echo chamber. If you're having trouble getting a handle on your thoughts, professional help can be an option too, and there are remote resources. Number five, routine. Try not to get so wrapped up in your thoughts that you neglect your routine. Maintaining a normal sleep schedule, being active during the day and getting enough sleep at night can help maintain your sense of well-being. Also, try to include some exercise in your schedule. It's been shown to reduce anxiety. Lastly, never feel guilty about your worries or anxiety. The key is to understand and contextualize your worries so that they don't keep you from living your healthiest life.